present Arthur Lowe, John LaMeshra and Clive Dunn in Dad's Army. The Cricket Match, featuring John Lorre, Arnold Ridley and Ian Lavender with this week's guests, Bill Pertwee, Frank Williams, Edward Sinclair and Larry Martin. Here is the news and this is John Snag reading it. In summer days of 1942, Britain is still very much at war. The German U-boat campaign against Allied shipping in the Atlantic is biting deep into our island's economy. Food and raw materials are in short supply, but there is no scarcity of courage and determination. And nowhere is this more ably demonstrated than by the brave men of the Home Guard, especially the Warmington on Sea platoon commanded by Captain Mannerick. Now, men... I've received a letter from Chief Warden Hodges of the ARP. Could I, could I have it, Wilson? Yes, sir, yes, 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 sir. I've got it somewhere. Permission to interrupt, sir? Yes, Jones. If that letter which come from Chief Warden Hodges and which Sergeant Wilson is now fumbling for is about me and Mrs. Prosser being discovered in the air raid shelter, <laughs> I would like to say it is not true, sir. Beg your pardon, Joan. Well, you see, see, she come over all of a sudden faint, and I had to take her into the air raid shelter to pull herself together, you see, sir. This has got nothing at all to do with you. Well, I just want you to know, sir, that if it had, it wouldn't be true. Yes, all right. <laughs> I'd like to get on. Well, here's the letter, sir. Thank you, Wilson. Ah, yes. Now, the wardens want to challenge us to a cricket match. Mm. Now, uh, I used to be quite a passable hoping bat <laughs> and uh, more than an average bowler myself. What about you, Wilson? Well, I can bat a bit and bowl a bit. Good. Now, who else have we got? Mr. Volunteer, sir. Yes, Joan. I would like to keep wicket, sir. I kept it once at the rear of the great Ranjit Sinji, sir, who was an Indian gentleman. And he did not like it, sir, because I whipped off his bales. <laughs> Good. Well, you can be our wicket keeper then, Jones. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'd like to play too, sir. Well done, Pike. So would I, Mr. Mannering. And uh, I think I can lay my hands on a couple of reconditioned cricket balls. They're very hard to get nowadays. Thank you, Walker. They've been most acceptable. I'd be delighted to play somewhere that doesn't involve too much walking about, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Godwin. Yeah, and not too far from the pavilion. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Who else? What about you, Fraser? Oh, well, I don't mind having a go if somebody will explain the basic principles of the thing. Huh? You mean you don't play cricket? Well, they tried it once on the Isla Barra. It wasn't a success. It's a wild and windy place, you understand. <laughs> and the stumps kept getting blown to the ground. <laughs> well, it seems that we have the nucleus of a team, so uh, do we play the wardens? Oh, oh, yes, we oh, yes, we Good, that's the sort of fighting spirit I like to hear. Well, we'll set up some nets in the yard outside and get in a bit of practice. And, Sam Wilson, mm -hmm. well, you yeah. tell Hodges that we accept their challenge. Very good, sir. Uh, naturally, I shall captain our team. Oh, really, sir? How completely unexpected. <laughs> right, Walker. Take up a good stance at the wicket. OK, Mr. Mannering. Now, men, I, I want you to watch this one very carefully. I'm going to bowl you a rather tricky one, Walker. It's a deceptive, somewhat unorthodox ball. I call it my triple spin in the swinger. <laughs> now, nothing to be ashamed of, Walker, if you miss it. It's defeated many an experienced batsman of the past. Right, get ready. Here it comes. Ooh! Oh, well done, Walker. Yeah. That's a lovely leg glide. Well oh, done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, that didn't quite come off, but... Uh... <laughs> I'd like to give you a tip, though, Walker. Yeah. Just, just let me have the bat for a moment. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Now, you can all pay attention to this because you'll all profit by it. Right, now, whether you play forward to a good length ball, like so, or play back to a short ball, like so, it is absolutely essential that you play with a straight bat. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? Why do we have to do it like that? Because it's the correct way. If you continue to slash the ball in any old ugly fashion like you just did, you'll miss it completely. Well, I it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, that was luck. <laughs> Little ball, Pike. Yes, Mr. Mandarin. Now watch, Walker, I'll show you. Right, Pike, send me down a good length straight one. Very good, Mr. Mandarin. Now, everybody, 
take particular note how I keep my eyes on the ball all the way from the bowler's hand right onto the bat. Right. Right, Pike. Bowl. Right, Mr. Henry. Coming up. Out. Oh. <laughs> well done, Frank. Well done. Middle stump. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Manreen. <laughs> the sun shining in my eyes is a damn nuisance. Yes. <laughs> you seemed to lose some of the ball, sir, didn't you? Somewhere between the bowler's hand and the bat. Yes, all right. Thank you. <laughs> right, Godfrey. Let's see you have a go at batting. Uh, oughtn't I to have pads on? No, no, no. We're not bowling fast ones. Oh, uh, just that my legs chip awfully easily. <laughs> Come on, here's the bat. Let's see how you shape up at the wicket. Now take your stance. Oh, very well, Mr. Ben. Is this all right? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't stand slumped like that. Won't do it at all. Have you, have you never played before? Well, when I was in the civil service stores, I, I used to play with the gentleman's outfitting department. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> you used to have a match against the tobacco and cigarette department. I christened it... Gentlemen versus the players. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, I, I was quite a wag in those days. Yes. Now, Godfrey, grip with your left hand more towards the front of the handle. That's right. Bring your left shoulder around more. Uh, like this, sir? Yes. Now get your head down, but keep your eyes up. <laughs> Feet a little further apart. Right arm straight. Now relax. <laughs> Uh, Blow he looks like a crab trapped under a stone. See, all right, that'll do, Walker. Excuse me, Mr. Manred. Yes, Jared. I'm sorry I'm late, sir. So I was in the middle of coupon counting, and then the meat delivery comes, sir. I don't want excuses, Jones. A parade is a parade. You should be here on time. Yeah, but I thought you'd like to know I shoved a pound of sausages in your left-hand drawer, sir, as usual. Sir. Oh, yes, well, thank you very much, Jones, but, but, but watch it in future. Yes, sir. <laughs> Right, let's resume our batting practice. I'd like to volunteer to do some of that, sir. Let me be the batter, sir. All right. Get on with it. Go down to the wicket and pick up the bat. Right, sir. Very good, sir. Pike, give me the ball. Oh, that's not fair. I was doing ever so well. Don't you remember, Mr. Manorin, I bowled you. Pike, I said, give it to me. Oh, very well. There you are. <laughs> now, then. Yes, sir. Right. You notice how I grip the ball. Oh, yes. <laughs> Forefinger is along the seam, slightly to the left of it. Huh? As the ball leaves my hand, notice the downward action of the wrist. <laughs> I want to all try that, Will. <laughs> very good, Godfrey. Your wrist action is very good. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Try not to make it quite so limp. Oh. <laughs> then we give a final flip of the finger that will bring the ball in just outside the off stump. Right, Jones, stand by. Ready, Mr. Manran. Now, this ball will probably fox you a bit. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it's a lovely hook, Jones, right over the wall. Oh. Hey. You better go and ask the vicar if we can have our ball back. <laughs> After you, Mr. Regan. Thank you, Mr. Hodges. I expect this pavilion's a bit uh, small compared to what you've been used to. Oh, the trappings don't worry me, Mr. Hodges. It's the game that counts. I still can't believe it. The famous bowler, E.C. Egan, turning out for the Warren Wardens. I reckon two overs from you and Mannering's lot will all be back in the pavilion. Are you, uh, are you going to tell them who I am? Well, not until Mannering's at his crease, you know, then we can all see his face. <laughs> now, if you'll just sign this form that makes you a warden and it's all official. Uh, right righto. There you are. Uh, by the way... What happens if the siren sounds? You resign. <laughs> ah, Mr. Hodges. Here are you. You lot have been practising in secret. Oh, nothing much, you know. Just trying to get back in the swing, as it were. Yeah, well, you won't be back in it long. <laughs> uh, we'll be in the uh, dressing room through here. Now, if my lot come in, send it through, will you? Very well. Right, uh, this way, Mr. Regan. Or may I call you a GC? Oh, anything like Mr. Hodges. Good afternoon, Mr. Mannery. Good afternoon, Godfrey. What's that you're wearing on your head? Oh, uh, it's, it's a Panama. I wear it for bowls. It's nice and shady in the sun. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you can't wear that. I'll lend you a cap. I've got a spare one in my bag. Here you are. Oh, oh thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Mannerin, uh, I've got them. you got what, Walker? Them two round leather things we was discussing the other day. Oh, the cricket balls. 
I've got them here. Here you are. Three quid each. A fiver for the pair, there. I'm not paying that. Three pounds for a cricket ball? It's ludicrous. Oh, all right, then. Forty-five bob, then. And I'm robbing myself. Very well, then. Just one. Here you are. Ta. Walker, I, I sometimes think you'd sell your own grandmother. There's no market for her. <laughs> all right, Frank, thanks very much. Put my cricket bag over there in the locker. Yes, Uncle Arthur. Good heavens, Wilson. Mm -hmm. What's that purple and orange blazer you're wearing? What is this? Oh, uh, it's a club I used to belong to. Pretty colours, don't you think? I'd call them somewhat dazzling. This isn't Henley Regatta, you know. Of course, one doesn't wear it while actually at the wicket, you know, sir. No, I'm well aware of that, Wilson. Pike. Yes, Mr. Manreen. Why are you wearing grey flannels? Where are your whites? I haven't got any, Mr. Manreen. Mum put them in the dolly tub and they shrunk up to above my knees. <laughs> Look here, Pike. Not only are you a member of the platoon, but you're also an employee of the bank. Yes, sir. Wearing grey flannel trousers for cricket won't do at all. It could set your whole career back. <laughs> you understand? Sorry, Mr. Manreen. Now, it so happens that I have a spare pair. <laughs> Just this once, I'm going to lend them to you. Thank you, Mr. Manreen. Not the sort of thing I like, sir. No, Mr. Manreen. Trousers are very personal things. <laughs> One doesn't like to have them banded about. No, Mr. Manreen. Well, they're in my case. Get them. Yes, Mr. Manreen. And take off that dreadful eye shade. Look like a card shop. <laughs> Edward G. Robinson wears one. Maybe, but not on the cricket field. <laughs> right, Sir Manreen, how are you getting on? Well, my lads are just getting ready. Lads? Blimey, is that what you call them? <laughs> Shall we toss here, or shall we go out on the pitch like they're doing a test match? Oh, here we'll do very well. Right, here we go, then. Shouldn't the umpires be here? Oh, blimey, it's going to be like that, is it? Ah, oh, good afternoon, Captain Manring. Good afternoon, Vicar. Very good of you and the Verger to offer to umpire. No, not at all. Um, shouldn't we have white coats or something? All right, don't panic, don't panic. I'm here with the white coats from my shop and ready to keep the wicket. Here's the coat, sir. Sorry about the stain, sir, but there's a small piece of kidney got left in the pocket. Thank <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jones. And there you are, Mr. Yeatman. And make sure I get it back afterwards. Don't you take that tone with me. Right, then. Uh, I'll toss uh, and uh, you call, Manry. No, no, no. <clears throat> the vicar can toss and I'll call. Oh, here you are, vicar. Well, I, I'm not really used to this, you know. Oh, don't worry, your rooms. It's not real gambling. Oh, very well. Here goes. Heads. It's tails. You've lost. <laughs> Hard luck, Mannering. You're fielding. Come on, Mr. Regan. You and me will open the batting. Right, well, Mr. Hodges. Are you ready, Vicar? Quite ready, Mr. Yateman. I'll stand at the bowling end to start with your reverence, and you stand at the batting end. Whatever you say, Mr. Yateman. Uh, will you be saying grace, sir? <laughs> no, thank you, Mr. Yates. I don't think it's customary. Oh, very well, Your Reverence. Well, Wilson, be good to hear the sound of willows striking leather again. <laughs> yes, well, it indeed, sir. We're going to walk out onto that pitch as free men mm -hmm. for a friendly British game. That's what we're fighting for, you know, Wilson. Well, among other things. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pike, trousers fit all right? Oh, fine, Mr. Manreen. Only, you're a bit shorter than I am, and a bit fatter. Yes, well, keep your hands in your pockets until you need them. <laughs> right, now, this is how my field will be deployed. Fraser, walk up. First and second slips. Right, sir. Aye, sir. Wilson, mid on. Uh, I should be keeping the wicket, sir. Send them down as fast as you like. I'll catch them and whip their bales off. Yes, thank you, Jones. <laughs> Godfrey. Deep cover. Oh, is that near Yes, the... it is, Godfrey. Yes. <laughs> Pike, silly mid on. Why me? <laughs> all right, all right, Frank. It's nothing personal. It's just called that. Now, man, I should be sending down a pretty mixed bag. <laughs> so you'd all better be on your toes. And I should be ready and waiting behind the wickets, ready to whip off their bales. Yes, so you keep saying, Joe. <laughs> Right, come on, men. We'll show those wardens how cricket really should be played. Right, Mr. Mannering. Are you ready to put Mr. Hodges? Almost, Ferdinand. Just checking my field. Pike, get closer to the batsman. I often get one with a short catch. 
Mum said I wasn't to get too close in case I got my head bashed in. <laughs> you should tell, Pike. Hey, Pike. Yes, Rogers. You're not going to stand there, are you? That's what I've been told to stand. You're right on top of me. When I start hooking, you're going to get your head bashed in. <laughs> Mr. Manreen. <laughs> what is it, Pike? Mr. Rogers says I'll get my head bashed in if I stand here. <laughs> Stay where you are, boy. Rogers, I'm going to send you one down. Here it comes. Blimey, that was nowhere near. Is he aiming at me or those cows in the next field? Wide, I think. I've got it, I've got it. How's that, how's that? Oh, tell me, Vicar, tell me, how was it, how was it? Well, it was a very spectacular movement, Mr. Jones, but it wasn't out. Why well, didn't it move? Oh, really? Now I've got to knock all those wicked things back in again. <laughs> Hope I didn't scare you, Hodges. I was just warming up. Wilson, well, mm -hmm. thought I'd tempt him with that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing? It was wide, man, and you know it. Don't talk to me like that, Mr. Yateman. Play! Right, Wilson. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give Hodges one of my googlies. <laughs> uh, that's wise. <laughs> Get ready, Hodges. Here we go. No ball! What was that, Virgin? I said no ball. What do you mean, no ball? Because you didn't bowl it. You chucked it. But that was my googly. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it was a chuck. And don't argue with the umpire, or you'll be sent off. Don't be ridiculous. You don't send people off in cricket? I do. <laughs> well, I can count myself lucky I wasn't given offside. Right. I'm, I'm taking your name for that. Manry, gross impertinence and sarcasm. This is absurd. Yes, sir. Don't you think you ought perhaps to get on with the game? Oh, very well. Right, Hodges. I'm going to send you a spinner this time. Stand by. Here it comes. <laughs> Four. Oh, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Miss Regan, don't bother to run singles. It won't be necessary. All right, Mr. Hodges. Right, play. <laughs> Four. Mr. Mannerin, can I stand a bit further away, please? That ball nearly knocked my ear off. Stay where you are, Pike. That's two easy catches you've missed already. <laughs> right, Hodges, I've finished playing with you. I'm in business now. Stand by. Here it comes. <laughs> Godfrey, it's coming to you. Get ready to catch it. Go on, catch it. Right, Miss Regan, run! Okay, Mr. Hodges! Got trip! Hurry up and throw the ball in, come on! Come on, Miss Regan, let's go for another one! Right you are! Got trip, throw the ball in! I have a sneaking suspicion he's lost it, sir. What? <laughs> oh, come on, we better go and help him find it. Fraser, right. come and give us a hand! All the right. Four. <laughs> Five. What's happening, Godfrey? Oh, oh, Mr. Manninger. I seem to mislaid the ball in all this long grass. Walk up, Fraser, hurry up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Nine. Come on again. Why didn't you keep your eye on us? Well, I was just on my way back from uh, behind the pavilion, and, uh, and my concentration must have wandered. Uh, I could swear it was round here somewhere. Thirteen. You're still Nine. running, sir. I'm sure they are. This is ridiculous. Perhaps we could all hold hands and tread the ground systematically. <laughs> Sixteen. Here, tell you what, Mr. Mannering, yeah. how about having this other ball? I kept it in my pocket in case of an emergency. That's an outrageous suggestion, Walker. Couldn't possibly. Twenty-two. I don't know where we go. How much? Forty-five shillings, did you say? <laughs> no, no, no. That was a special summer offer. This one's at the original price. Three quid. It's extortion. How dare you? Twenty-seven. All right, here. Three pounds. We found the ball. We found the ball. <coughs> Jones, get ready to catch it. Here it comes. I got it. I got it. How's that? How's that? Oh, tell me, Vicar. Tell me. How was it? How was it, Vicar? How was it? Oh, really, Mr. Jones, I wish you didn't have to be quite so dramatic. Now they're all untidy again. <laughs> More tea, Mr. Wilson? Oh, very well, Vicar. If you're being mother. <laughs> Mr. Maverick? Thank you, Vicar. Quite a stroke of luck you're finding that ball. Yes, 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 it was. Quite miraculous, really, in all that long grass. Yes. 
Like the prodigal son, he was lost and is found again. Quite. More tea, anyone? Well, Mannering, 152 for four's not bad, is it? <laughs> I think we declare and let your lot have a bash. That gives us three hours to get them, Wilson. That's a sporting declaration, I think, don't oh, you? Oh, yes, always sporting, very. Mm, if we were the MCC. Well, <laughs> if your batting's anything like your bowling room for a good laugh, eh, lads? <laughs> don't you make incinerating remarks about that cringe bowling. Oh, blimey, it's the demon wicketkeeper. I've never seen anything like it. The way you were throwing yourself at those wickets. You're not related to Tarzan by any chance, are you? <laughs> what do you mean? No need to be rude, Hodges. That's a good job. We've got plenty of spare stumps. He broke four of them in the first three overs. <laughs> the vicar's got a permanent stoop from him. Putting them back in. <laughs> what a common man. Yes, isn't he? You were perhaps a little over-enthusiastic, though, Jones. Needn't have demolished the wicket on every single ball. Well, you never know, do you, sir? But don't you worry, I'll try and keep myself in them when we get back on the field. No, 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 Joe. But, but we're batting next. Oh, I still like to carry on, sir. But they have their own wicket keeper. Oh, what a pity. I was just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Captain Mannery. Uh, yes, Godfrey? Would I still be in deep cover? No, you won't. And if you hadn't kept disappearing all the time, we wouldn't have lost the ball. <laughs> They scored 32 runs off that. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It was, it was rather chilly out there, and I, I had to keep. Yes, well, be that as it may. There were several sitters hooked out to the boundary. Easy catches for you, Godfrey. I deliberately tempted the batsman with some high balls. Oh, uh, that was deliberate, was it? <laughs> rather like loose bowling to me. Listen, Wilson. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't been so busy thinking of your next witty remark, you wouldn't have missed that easy catch I set up for you in the slips. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we're just not up to your standard, you know, sir. Mm. Right, lads, so on to the field as soon as you finish your tea. Here, Mr. Regan. Yes? How many overs do you think you'll need to skittle them? Three or four? Uh, well, let's say uh, four should see this lot off. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, by the way, what number does that fat little chap bat? Oh, well, he'll be opening bat if I know him. You know, Wilson, there's no finer boost to the morale than walking out to the wicket to come by the applause of the crowd. Oh, I agree, sir. Especially as we could uh, be walking back in silence. You're at the other end, Wilson. Yes, I know. I was aware of that, sir. You know, I have played this game before. You're going to show us all how to do it then, Mannering? Oh. You're the wicket keeper, are you, Hodges? That's right. Yeah. You step one inch outside that crease and I'll have those bags off before you can say knife. Really? Right, lads. Keep well in. We'll be getting a few sitters here, I expect. Middle and leg, please, Mr. Yateman. Oh, shouldn't bother you. Won't be there long enough. <laughs> Do you mind, Hodges? I said middle and leg, Mr. Yateman. I heard you the first time. Left a bit. Right a bit. Left again. Can't you make up your mind? I'm only trying to do what's right. Play! Just a moment, Verger. What is it now? I want to look round the field first. Oh, well, have a good look, then. You won't be here long. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you see that bloke Egan, the one who's getting ready to bowl to you? Yeah. Well, if war hadn't started, he would have been bowling for England by now. What? Hey! Look, Napoleon, you just watch this for a bit of professional bowling. Where does he think he's going? Uh, <laughs> well, he needs a long run-up. Anyway, it's not where he's going that you should worry about. It's how he comes back. <laughs> that ball leaves his hand at 95 miles an hour. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Look out, Napoleon, here he comes. Oh, oh, oh. oh sh sh shall I help you up, Mannering? I can manage, thank you. Uh, enjoying yourself, are you? <laughs> he wasn't bowling at the stumps, he was bowling at me. Rubbish. Uh, uh, Hello, uh, what's up with Egan? Oh. Oh, what's up, Mr. Egan? Hurt yourself? It's my shoulder. I must have dislocated it. It's no use. How shall I have to go? Go? Go where? Go off. I won't be able to play anymore. Sorry to let you down like this. Blimey, that's lovely, that is. My best bowler putting his shoulder out. So you're right, Hodges. Now I've got to enjoy this. Henry, you take over the bowling. Play! Right, Wilson, run. Blimey, he hit it. <laughs> he must have had his eyes shut. <laughs> They're running three. Here, we only need another 149 and we're home and dry. <laughs> Mr. Manning will do that easy. Oh, look, Uncle Arthur's at the boundary. Well done, Mr. Oh, Wilson. Oh, shut, son. 
Oh, nice cuts a leg. They're running up and down, running up and down. Go on, sir, go on. Yeah, you can do it. Hey, look, Mr. Manring's facing the bowling again. Oh, don't think I can bear to watch. <laughs> Manoring, leg before wicket, plainness and nose on your face, you're out. Vicar, do try to control your staff. Here comes our captain now. Let's have a round of applause for a gallant innings. Gallant innings? He only got three runs. That's three more than I thought he'd get. Well done, sir. Well done. Well, well done, done, Mr. Manoring. Well, well done. Thank you, Jones. Right, off you go, Pike. Yes, Mr. Manoring. A pull your trousers up, boy. Not easy out there, you know, particularly when the umpire's so biased. You let me go out there and take his white coat off him, sir. He won't have so much to be bumptious about then, sir. Let me go out there. All right, all right, Jones. You can go in next. How's Pike doing, Fraser? Uh, I think it's been a wee bit difficult to hold his trousers up and butt at the same time, sir. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Not down. Yeah. The stumps? No, sure. trousers. <laughs> Uncle Arthur's doing well, isn't he? He's made 81. Yeah. Mind you, the light's much better now. <laughs> when I was in, I had the same eyes for most of the time. What's the score, Walker? We're 147 for eight, Mr. Mannering. How's that? For nine. Fraser's out. <laughs> That's it. Last man in. That's you, Godfrey. Oh, dear. Now, we only need five to win. Just try not to get out. Let Wilson take the bowling and perhaps he'll scrape the runs. I'll do my best, sir. Good man, Godfrey. Let me go in again, sir. Let me go in again. Oh, don't be silly, Jones. Not allowed. I could disguise myself as an alternative person. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that, sir. Ah, Fraser. Pity you couldn't have lasted a bit longer. Now it's up to Godfrey. Aye, and he'll be out first ball. I know it. Yeah, well, with his complaint, he won't want to stay out here too long anyway, will he? Here we go. Hodges is bowling to him. Oh, Lord, he hits it. Run, Godfrey, run! Go on, run! Well, that's one they've got. Hey, they're going for another. Ah, uh, that's foolish of him. Should have taken a single and left the bowling to Wilson. How many balls to go? Four. If Godfrey just blocks them, he might make it. Yeah. Mr. Hodges is going to bowl again. There he goes. Heavens, Godfrey's hit it again. Oh, look at that. I think he's going to be a six. It is. Oh. Well done, Mr. Godfrey. We've well won, Mr. Tandy. We've won. We have indeed, Jones. Oh, look, Mr. Godfrey's coming in quick. Go on, well done, Godfrey. Oh, marvellous, Godfrey. Absolutely marvellous. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Well done, Godfrey. I knew he could do it, man. I always had the greatest confidence in you. Wonderful. You all right? Yes, Mr. Jones. We've had there rather a long time. I wonder if I might be excused. With pleasure, Godfrey. With pleasure. Here, Mannering, you didn't really win, you know. I should never have declared. Ah, but you did. Yeah, well, just you wait until the football season. And you'd better make certain you import professionals who don't break their legs. <laughs> That episode of Dad's Army, based on the original television series by Jimmy Perry and David Croft, you heard Arthur Lowe as Captain Mannering, John Le Measure as Sergeant Wilson, or Clive Dunn, Corporal Jones, John Lorry, Private Fraser, Arnold Redley, Private Godfrey, Ian Lavender, Private Pike, Bill Pertry, Chief Warden Hodges, Frank Williams, the vicar, Edward Sinclair, the verger, Larry Martin, Private Walker, and Anthony Smee as G.C. Egan. Cricket Match was adapted for radio by Michael Knowles and Harold Snowd and produced by John Dias. Arthur Lowe, John Le Measurer, and other members of Dad's Army.